Magic of Math here, and today we're going to review and talk about angles of triangles as we answer a standardized math test question. Here's our question today. This question is going to have four parts. This figure is composed of triangles JKL, JKM, and KML. In the figure, point M lies on side JL. The measure of JKM is 50 degrees. The measure of KJM is 60 degrees and the measure of KLM is 33 degrees. Here's part A. What is the measure in degrees of angle JMK? And you're asked to show or explain how you got your answer. I'm gonna have you pause the video now, do your best work, and come back when you're ready to check your solution. Welcome back. So we are looking at these three triangles. Let's review these. We have triangle JKL. JKL is the entire big triangle. And then we have triangle JKM, which is this triangle here on the left side of the big triangle. And our third is triangle KML, and here it is, KML is the right side of the triangle. And then all of these features, these measures of angles, are all labeled in the diagram of the big triangle. We're asked to find the measure in degrees of angle JMK. So JMK, that angle is JMK, the middle letter is the vertex of the angle, and we're looking to find what I've labeled X here, this third angle of the smaller triangle. So we're gonna review our triangle angle sum theorem. The sum of the three interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So any triangle, when you add the three interior angles, it totals 180 degrees. So let's write an equation. We have 60 plus 50 plus x is going to equal 180. Let's combine our like terms so that we can solve for x. 60 plus 50 is 110 plus x will be 180. Now we're going to isolate our variable term by doing the inverse, which would be to subtract 110 from each side of the equation. And then this is our zero pair, leaving us x, and that equals 180 minus 110, which is 70 degrees. So we know that that missing measure is 70 degrees. Okay, here's part B. You're asked, what is the sum of the measures in degrees of angle JMK and angle KML? And you need to show or explain how you got your answer. So go ahead and pause the video now, do your best work, and come back when you're ready to check your solution. Welcome back. So we are now being asked the sum of the measures in degrees of JMK and KML. So here is JMK, this angle right here, and then angle KML. And we wanna know the sum of these two added together. If we look at our triangle, we can see that these two angles together form a straight line. The sum of two angles that form a straight line is 180 degrees. So this angle plus this angle will be 180 degrees. Here's part C. What is the measure in degrees of angle MKL? And show or explain how you got your answer. Please pause now and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So we're looking for the measure of MKL, MKL. So it's this angle right here. And together, these two angles form this entire angle K. So together, we know that this is, we need to find this angle K. So we're gonna look at JKL of the big triangle because we've already reviewed that the three angles of a triangle have to have 180 degrees. We know angle L and we know angle J, and now we can find angle K. So we know that 33 plus 60 plus whatever K is has to equal 180. Then when we know K, we know what these two together need to be. So let's combine our like terms. 33 plus 60 is 93 plus K equals 180. To solve for K, we're gonna do the inverse and subtract 93 from each side. 
So that's my zero pair, and k is going to be equal to 87. So we know that this entire angle right here is 87 degrees. So 50 plus this unknown angle must equal 87. 50 plus that x equals 87. Subtract 50 from each side to solve for x. We have our zero pair, and 87 subtract 50 is 37. So then we know that angle MKL right here is 37 degrees. And here's our final part D. Is the triangle JKL similar to triangle KML? and explain your reasoning. Please pause now and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So let's look at this similarity, right? We're talking about similar triangles. Similar figures have corresponding angles that are congruent. So we have all these angle measures that we've been finding and throughout the whole problem, and we can tell that JKL will be similar to triangle KML if their corresponding angles are congruent. So let's first talk about what this triangle looks like. So triangle JKL is the big part of the triangle. Let's move that over to the right and label it. We know that angle J is 60 degrees, angle L is 33 degrees. Now we have uh, triangle KML. KML is this one on the left. So let's move that over here so we're looking at just these two triangles. We solved earlier in one of our parts that this angle K was 87 degrees, so bringing that forward. We know that this angle right here was 37 degrees, and then we solved for this one. We know that this angle right here was 70, and together these two have to equal 180. Remember, they form the straight line, so that means this angle M is going to be 110. So now we've identified these three interior angles and these three, if you add them up, these three equal 180 and these three equal 180. Now we need to determine if they're similar figures and if they are, their corresponding angles will be congruent. So if we look, 87 is not equal to 37, 60 is not equal to 110. The only angles that are corresponding and congruent are angles L and that is not enough to make them similar triangles. So therefore we can conclude, no, triangle JKL is not similar to triangle KML since their corresponding angles are not congruent. So there you have it. That is how we find angles of triangles. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.